Hey everyone, this is Fernando doing another video for Mono Survivalist. Here I have on the table a bunch of, of knives and I do so because I was requested by one of you guys, one of uh, the viewers, to do a video on anti-knife uh, politics and the, the general prejudice and stigma knives have in society. And you know, interesting topic, uh, as I said before, anything you guys want me to address, I'll do my best at doing that. So you asked for this yesterday and I'm, I'm replying it uh, as soon as I could. Very hard, very difficult to deal with people that are so backwards, so narrow-minded that they don't understand that a knife is a tool. Every single human in this planet uses a knife on a daily basis, even if it's just to eat. No matter how stupid, small-minded you are, you use a knife to eat every single day. How is it possible that a person can be anti-knife, anti the first tool man ever used and is still using today to the most extent? The most useful tool mankind ever has and still has, right? We could not do anything without a knife. Right, anything you enjoy today was achieved to some point because because of knives. And uh, you first have these people that are extremely narrow-minded, very, very stupid, and they, in general, and this I can say without a an ounce of a doubt, people that are anti-knife or are against knives are the most useless people in the face of the earth. They are the most useless people there are because anyone that does anything involving uh, uh, crafts, any, any sport they do, any activity, any, any handy person will understand why is it that a knife is useful and will understand that even though some people may use it as a weapon just like you can stab someone with a screwdriver, a knife is uh, a tool you just cannot do without. Then you have politics and that's where it gets even trickier. You have uh, politicians that use knives so as to blame for their own failures as, <laughs> as politicians. They will blame uh, violence on, on guns, so you have anti-gun sentiments and anti-gun politics, anti-knife. Once they banned uh, 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 guns, they, they, will, they would go after knives and you have uh, all this, um, this uh, general atmosphere. The, the people that are considered that consider themselves anti-knife or campaign against knife, um, they have very little life experience in general. Uh, since they are so useless as human beings, what they fill their small minds with is what they see on TV. And if they see knives being used to to kill someone on TV, they're going to be <gasps> scared by the knives that they saw. And that's the first lead that they will have. Uh, Anti-knife people will be scared of knives that are perceived as, as dangerous by the media. For example, they will see a, a movie where a black knife is used by a criminal, by the bad guy, and if it's black, it's pointy, it's kind of tactical looking, that's gonna be scary. So it's uh, both a matter of, of color, black, chrome, pointy, and it's a matter of size. If it's a big knife, it's scarier than a small knife, you know, because, yeah, because that's the way it is. The bigger the knife, the, the more dangerous it is because a bigger knife is more likely to just jump at you and stab you in the throat on its own without anyone even touching it. All right, that's, that's how it basically goes. So, uh, again, it will depend a lot on where you are. Uh, my experience in, in South America, Europe, and US, it is pretty different. Um, in Europe, it's definitely the worst place. The, in Europe, people are are the most uh, anti, uh, you know, anti knife, anti gun, anti anything that is more uh, re related to being self reliant. Uh, yeah, and there are exceptions. Some of you guys that are I consider my friends here are are of course exceptions. But you understand as well as I do that it's not the general rule. In general, people are pretty uh, the other way around. In U.S., it will depend. Uh, of course, if you're surrounded with like-minded people, anything that's EDC will be, <laughs> rather than a, a problem, will be the kind of, of thing you end up talking hours about. But uh, then you have differences in, in some of the, and this this appears to be a thing of, of some of the bigger cities uh, and the more liberal uh, states and such. Uh, in some of those, you may have a little bit more of a problem with, with someone um, seeing that you have a knife or not. Um, 
in general, the smaller it is, the, the, the less of a threat it's perceived as. Colors, <laughs> as stupid as this sound, but again, there's no limit to how you know backwards people can be. Uh, maybe uh, the, the Victorinox is one of the friendliest looking uh, in knives, so it, it's perceived as as less, less of a threat. Some of these guys maybe saw MacGyver, which was a big uh, anti knife uh, anti gun enthusiast, but he had a knife, so that was okay. So the, the Victorinox is maybe one of the friendliest you know, friendliest knives there is. Um, there's really no logic. And for example, this, I understand that lots of anti-knife people will perceive as, as dangerous, as a weapon, as something that hurts people. And, and me, maybe a Victorinox, because this is, this gag knife that I have with me is still a Victorinox, uh, 108 millimeter format Victorinox. Even though the blade is pretty much the same length, this is going to be perceived as much more dangerous than, than this other knife, all right? So the, the, there's that. Um, in, in South America, in general, I can say that um, people are, maybe because of um, people ha having to be a little bit more, more handy, uh, more resourceful in South America in general, people have to be more resourceful and more a little bit more rugged in general, uh, have to be able to fix stuff a little bit more themselves since everything seems to be, it seems to not work as well as in Europe or US. Um, in general, uh, knives are not an issue at all. Uh, actually, in, in Argentina, you don't even have any any laws against any sort of knives. Uh, it's a very the only law uh, regarding uh, knives and such and blades would be you're, you're not allowed to carry it if uh, if intending of using it as a as a weapon for. Yeah, and that is in the context of being used as a weapon uh, in, in anything uh, illegal, of course. But there's no specific knife laws. You can carry any knife you want in, in Argentina because there is no legislation against knives. And of course, knife stabbings are far less common than in Europe, where they have a ton of stupid legislations. So, well, we understand how that goes and such. Um, what is it that you can do about it? There's really not much you can do. And, uh, uh, you know, try to be smart about uh, where you are and how you behave. Uh, when, when I worked in an office uh, back in the day in, in, in Buenos Aires, I, I had this knife with me in my left pocket, this knife, this uh, multi-tool on my right pocket. And along with a flashlight and the usual stuff, you know, covering the basics, something to start fires, something to uh, uh, for illumination, multi-tool, knife, right. and. You know, uh, once I got to know the, the, the people in, in my office and such and, and had a, a better feeling of it, uh, they eventually knew that I had a, a knife with me uh, and uh, rather than being a, a problem of any kind, it was, it was kind of like a, a problem in terms of, hey, Fernando, we need, a, we need to cut this open or we need to unscrew this or we need, to, uh, we need the flashlight over here. So it became more of a matter of... Um, of, of uh, whenever someone needed a tool or a knife or something, they would come looking for me, my boss, my, my, my office partners and, and friends and such. So um, that was it, but be smart about it. Don't let anyone know what you have unless you are pretty sure of, of who you're talking to. There's no limit to how stupid people can be. I cannot say that enough. Even the most, the smallest, less intimidating looking knife can be offensive if someone is, uh, has a thin enough skin, all right? In general, what I do is, uh, as you know, I have my, my keychain usually with me, and in it I have the, the Victorinox Mini Champ. In general, what I do, for example, if I'm out uh, and surrounded by other people that I don't really know and such, if I have to open something, I will try to use the, the sharp edge here of the Pico Pry Bar. If I can open the, the package or whatever it, it is that needs opening, I will try doing that with, with this. If, if I just need a, um, a sharp edge, I will go for the, the small uh, knife here. This is, you know, and this happens to be a very handy little little pocket tool, little keychain tool, the mini champ. Another choice would be the Letterman Squirt P4, like this older model, or the PS4. Uh, both, you know, very good uh, keychain tools, very handy uh, for the size 
for how small they are, they're very, very useful. So this is what I would be using if, if not sure of, of, of who I'm dealing with and who's, who's around me. Even this can be scary, offensive, and get you in trouble if surrounded by stupid enough people. I've had a couple of times when I used this little knife for opening maybe mail or, or a package or something, and someone nearby was <gasps> that kind of looked like scared or you have a knife or some stupid comment like that. So even with this, you have to be careful. Again, in general, bright colors <laughs> seem to be less scary for these folks. Um, in general, uh, Victorian oxes, you, know, can, you can get away with it better. Um, Multi-tools. Multi-tools are one of the, the things that seem to be less, less scary because you say multi-tool, so they don't associate. Uh, you know, it's, it's incredible how small these people's minds are. But even if you bring out the, the blade and the multi-tool and you're opening and doing something and they say, you have a knife. And you and you reply, no, I have a multi-tool. They go like, oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> it's that level of you know the the intellect of a of a smart ant. <laughs> yeah, it, it is pretty pretty bad. But there are people up. There's no limit to how stupid people can be. When you're looking at um, bigger knives, again, colors seem to be a factor. So if you're not sure of who you're gonna be surrounded with, green is a good color. Green or orange, bright orange, uh, is less threatening than something that looks a little bit more tactical. Uh, yeah, and again, the, the size will, will matter as well. Uh, this busty team, Gemini Light Brigade, is pretty big. Great outdoors knife as well, but I understand that it could be a little bit more more impressive for the the anti knife sheeply person. Sheeply, the term used by survivalists, preppers, a mixture of sheep and people. It is uh, a good term to define some of these folks. Uh, as I was saying. Uh, green colors and these knives look a little bit more bushcrafty, which they may have seen uh, some hippie use somewhere. So uh, if hippies use them, then they're then they are not dangerous. I actually saw I was checking the news uh, this morning, and I saw in a um, in a website, a news website, uh, an Argentine website in Clarín, I think it was, or La Nación newspaper. And I was reading the front page, and there was a picture of of Zac Efron, the actor. He's backpacking in Machu Picchu in Peru, and he had the same knife, the, the, Mora, the, the Mora knife, um, attached to the front strap of his backpack. So maybe if a fruity Hollywood actor is okay with it, then uh, maybe some anti-knife knife people will be with it, will be okay with it as well. You know, maybe you can have this knife, and if anyone says a comment, you can say, "But Zac Efron used it in Peru when backpacking after recovering from his cocaine addiction." And we'll go, oh, then it's okay, right. <laughs> the the Helta Force knife, again, this is a very, very tough knife. I did a review of it. Uh, I'm still trying to break it, and I use it to open a few paint cans not that long ago, uh, trying to break the tip on purpose. Um, you know, it feels kind of stupid trying to break it on purpose, but it's surprising to see how tough it is. I'm doing it knowing that it's very tough and knowing that it can take it, of course. I wouldn't be breaking a knife that I know has a more sensitive tip and such. But again, for the money, you know, just while we're talking about knives, it's uh, the Hulta Force Heavy Duty uh, Beasts of a Knife for, for under 10 bucks. So yeah, that's generally my recommendation. Have layers, if you have your multi-tool, if you have a folder, uh, have a, a smaller keychain knife. The keychain knife is not only uh, great as a, a small multi-tool, which I love this one. The, the Mini Champ for me is fantastic. I've talked and talked about it so many times. I, I'm, you know, I cannot recommend it enough. For me, it saves the day, maybe more often than anything else that, I, that I've had. And you know, just fantastic. And very, being, being Victorinox, being the smallest Victorinox format, it should be less threatening to some of these folks. If not, remember, colors, anything looks a little bit more, more, more tactical looking, maybe a little bit scarier, and just be smart about it. Just don't, don't try to educate people that are beyond that. It's, it's like trying to educate a, a pig how to use a computer. It's, it's a waste of time. All right. There's really no purpose in it. Um, 
you know, and especially not when it can get you in trouble. If if someone uh, feels threatened by it, they, they may uh, call call cops. Call uh, if it's in an office environment, uh, tell your boss about it. And you know, even if you were just using it to open lunch, uh, someone that felt uh, threatened, offended, or any way, especially in these political correct environments that we are these days, uh, just don't risk it. Okay, be smart about it. And before sharing much about yourself know who you're talking with, know who's around you. Okay folks, if you like this video, please uh, click the like button or the thumbs up button somewhere there and subscribe for more stuff. Take care, as always, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, just let me know about it, I'll do my best. Have a great day, see you on our next video.